everybody. So welcome to The Drip, where we are saturating you with the content you crave. I've got my boy, Tommy. What's going on? And I got my girl, Patsy. What's up? And I got this little pom-pom pen today that's making me super happy, giving me super positive vibes, which I'm an adult. I need some super positive vibes. So we have a pretty amazing show for you. There's a lot going on in Kellyland, um, and we're going to be bringing all of that to you. We've got some fabulous cuisines, yummies to our tummies. Italian dishes. Absolutely. Yes. From Miss Patsy. She's been um, creeping around Baton Rouge, picking out her favorite restaurants. And we've got a little <laughs> mental health project that we're going to be doing here with Tommy today. In the glam session, well, it's obviously super glamorous because we've got a little TikTok action we're going to be talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. So it's going to be pretty dope. We've got a whole bunch in store for you today. And I'm pretty excited. I want to know what the black and white is about. And that's the Tommy thing. All I do is read what's in my notes. But um, <laughs> we have some awesome new sponsors. Thank you to Jerry Lane, obviously Dudley and DeBosier, for making this show possible in the hair show because without that show this show wouldn't actually be a thing yeah. all about that four 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 all thanks the to the fours and three six one seven perkins road if you want to look and feel fabulous the hair show is all you need to know boo so we're gonna throw this to a quick commercial thank our sponsors and when we return we've got the restaurant of the week with miss patsy so you don't want to miss it. It's a it. good one. <laughs> don't miss this. Bleachbright LED whitening. Phenomenal whitening results of two to eight shades in less than 30 minutes. And more effective than other teeth whitening options because the light opens the pores on your clear enamel layer to allow our whitening formula to penetrate behind the enamel. We're confident that you will be ecstatic about your results. Visit Treads and Care Tire Company's new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for over 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair and top-notch customer service. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. Thank you for making us Louisiana's number one Chevy. You can count on Jerry Lee. To the drip where Tommy means business, mm -hmm. is that right? Well, Since seventh grade, well, apparently. 
<laughs> that yeah. has been a nickname, and I love our little captions that we just. Can I dive into that in. a little bit? Yeah, dive in. All right. Okay. So my name is Tommy Means, and um, since seventh grade, everybody's been saying Tommy means business. Tommy means business, which was cool. It was cool. But now I'm hearing it a lot, and then uh, it's reminding me of seventh grade. You know, like the angsty times. You know, yeah, like you're, the you're, awkward. Like yeah, the, I'm not a man. And I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not thinks, a girl. They are so woman. creative. Whenever well, they I was say never it. a girl, but in, yeah, you know, it's <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's those those times, and um, it was it was back then. It was like really awkward for me, and I um, did they say Tommy means business? Yeah, and it, you know what? I it, it kind of started off of a a project that I did in math. And we had to create a company, and um, it was. Then we had to do like we had to like we had like pretend. Yeah, we had like pretend numbers to do, (laughs) and we had to solve the equations and stuff. But my business name was Tommy Means Business. Everybody called me Tommy Means Business. Oh, you made it up. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was clutch. It it was cool. I was like, yeah. But then now people that don't know that I did that math project are calling me Tommy Means Business. It's like, hey, wait. You know, it'd be really funny. You don't know about my seventh grade math. My my seventh grade <laughs> drama stories? Are you kidding me? What would be funny? I tried to flirt with a girl and it just didn't work out. Everybody had an awkward was, seventh grade. No, right. Raise your hand if you did it. No hands. No hands. No, everybody, I've heard multiple of these interactions with Tommy and everybody's like, you know it would be so funny and creative? If you like named your like hair salon or like your like hair handle, Tommy means business. And they're I like chuckling. They are so chuckling, and Tommy's just Sorry, like, guys. oh, God. Oh, God. I thought that it was Tommy Means Business, and then I realized it was Watch Tommy Go. And I was like, There's oh, a story well, behind that dang too. it. I like Watch Tommy Go, but Tommy Means Business is pretty. It's clever. It's very well, clever. Thank it's you. It's very clever. It's on clutch. But anyways, today is the day that we're doing a little something-something with my girl Patsy. So I'm going to throw it on over right here to my right because we've got something for the restaurant of the week thank you br yes so this restaurant i am a fan of italian food it's probably my second favorite category right next to mexican food we're just gonna go down the line it's second second favorite of like the food categories the first one is mexican that's why i did barracuda last week so number one mexican number two italiana don't get offended tommy it's nothing personal i'm italian (laughs) but my this restaurant that I've got cooked up for y'all is a local. Did you say uh, cooked up? Yes. I love it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pun intended. Hand heart. <laughs> there it is. There it is. It's an authentic, locally owned Italian restaurant in Baton Rouge. It's on Corsi Boulevard. It's called Bistro Italia. Actually, it's a little heartwarming to our friend Tommy over here. His family actually owns it. Oh, yeah. well, we're going to have to go eat there. Really? You have to. It's my grandmother's recipes. It, uh, my grandmother. I haven't, it I haven't is good. heard of it. It's very good. It's really small. Like, nothing. Let me write that down with my Nothing pen. fancy. It's super casual. Somewhere that you what can go. Bistro Italia. Like, somewhere you can bring your kids after they get off of school. They're, authentic Italian food. Yes, authentic Italian food. I'm telling you, there's nothing that beats the food coming out of Tommy's grandmother's kitchen, but this is a very close second. Their chicken parm sandwich is probably my favorite thing on the menu. Ah, it is. How do you get all that red sauce die for. in between buns? Beats me. That's, that's why Thomas I go. Grandma. Italians. Yeah. That's Italians. the answer. That's, Italians. That's, that's a spicy do. meatball. It's so that's good. Offensive. It makes, makes me get a little too. Brooklyn. <laughs> it makes me get a little New York. Oranges. Coffee. Cannolis. Cannolis. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> Their cannolis are really good. Oh, they have cannolis? They do have cannolis. Mm. They have garlic knots. They have cannolis. Eggplant parm. This recipe... The eggplant parm recipe is the reason I started liking eggplant parm. Oh, get out of here. The eggplant parm? Eggplant the eggplant parmesan. parm, it kind of tastes like chicken, but it's a little healthier. You don't feel as bad eating it. it. Yeah, you don't feel as bad. Like I like chicken. that. It, it tastes, tastes like, like chicken. It tastes like straight up parm. Yeah, but look. That, and that delicious. Cute little so we've got the restaurant of the week, and we got a little yeah. parmesan going look on today. Look at those true Italians in front of that sign. Love that it. is the way <laughs> to go. The, the Sopranos. It is. It is. <laughs> yeah. It's um, BR Sopranos. Yes. Hashtag the drip. Hashtag the drip. 
But yeah, it's a great restaurant. Everybody needs to try it. It needs to be on your next eat list in BR. It is number one. It is a sure. hidden gem. It's it's it's. It's authentic Italian food, if I were to say anything. It's, it's authentic Italian. And he would know. My great grandmother immigrated here from uh, Campania. Ooh. That's, that's uh, right outside of Naples. That's Sic- Sicily. They um, turn food into gold. That's what they do. And um, <laughs> I that, wish they turned fat into that, gold. Uh, because after they, eating there, they, that's all there is. Guess what? There's a lot of fat. <laughs> There's a lot of fat in it. If y'all met Tommy's grandmother, you would know just how much love goes into her cooking. Well, I've met Tommy's dad, but I haven't met Tommy's grandma. She's... Oh, do we need to get her on the show? Well, we let, do. She'll be a kick. Give her let, one martini. She, give her one martini and she's just... Let's give her one martini, a segment, and pretty much a go at it. Whatever the hell she wants to talk yeah. about. She'll, ta- she'll about bring food. the eggplant She's going to talk about her fig tree. Yeah. Oh, grandma's and, and her, aunt's. And, and her knitting project. They her love figs. Yes. She makes the best slippers. I'm not she even... Does. Every elder like jars preserves a fig right or a jam or a, a some type of vegetable it's all jarred and preserved my grandma did pickles hey. and um she passed away a couple years ago but the pickles lived on i think they're finally gone but um yeah she definitely did pickles yeah, pickles I, and okra and just whatever every jams. grandma has their one grandma thing that they do what am i gonna do I mean, I'm not Cut a grandma hair. yet. Thank you, Jesus. Can I get an amen? <laughs> but eventually it's going to happen. My grandma actually did cut hair and my great grandma. Oh. I actually come from like six generation of hair salon owners. Hashtag hair show BR. Um, but yeah, like what am I going to jar? What are you going to jar? Personally, I've been brushing up on my grandma's skills since I was little. I'm going to be the crochet and knit grandma. Okay. But y'all, good luck. I know she, what I'm You do, do have a blanket that's like one sixteenth of the way finished. Oh so. yeah, I keep my yarn. You have on a square. Deck. I keep my yarn. I can on crochet. Deck. I can't knit. Oh, I learned how to do both. I learned how to knit during COVID. That's how bored oh, I got. Oh god, that would have been awesome. We were literally watching a, um, a video. It was on, it was on a TV show, and and this lady sewed her hair into the sewing machine. She oh yeah, that's, an accident. And, that's little yeah, Sheldon. Yeah, accident. And she Young was like, Sheldon. oh yeah, it was stuck, and that's why she had to cut her own hair, but. Um, she she goes. <laughs> it's actually stuck. really easy to get your hair unstuck from uh, a sewing machine. Just go backwards. I can. And 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 she was yeah. But well, she, no, it, it's it's no. You're gonna put more stitches in your hair if you just go backwards. But there's a foot. You just lift it up. You crank up. Exactly the, what I'm talking it, about. It's a lot. She's but like, yeah, sewing, knitting, crocheting, embroidering, <laughs> smocking. I'm your girl. I'm your grandma. One day. I don't know anything about any of those things. I can do a dart or like a scrunch butt. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know what that is. Everyone knows a good scrunch butt when you see it. I know how to do that. Kelly One, can put a hem. Two little darts right in the butt crack, and it makes any outfit look <laughs> hot AF without any Just seamstress scary for needed. Me. We're talking about it's grandmas. A dart. Well, my grandma was hot. <laughs> Shout out to Momo, rest in peace. I love you. I know you're proud of me right now, Vern. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but it's funny, like you're Italian. My family is Italian, but DNA works in some crazy ways. It's like a Russian roulette. That's what I call it. You take like 12 gumballs of all the possible things that you could be, and you just throw them all the different colors down the hallway. And the first three, that's what you are. I'm Portuguese. My Portuguese. I'm the eighth descendant of the King of Tuscany and the Princess of Spain. Um, my Where dad, is that check? I want that. I'd like that check. Um, <laughs> but it's actually the Veroni Vineyards in Tuscany is still owned by my family, the Veroni family, which is what my mom was a Veroni, my grandma a Veroni. Um, and I am trying. It's on my bucket list. I'd really like to get there before the end of the year. If I can get there, if I can like catch a greyhound over the sea. Oh, I live right by those. I got uh, you. That's that's that's, that's <laughs> called an airline. I, I know, I know what it's called. I just can't afford one right now. So you're just gonna hop, skip, and jump in a, yeah, in a greyhound? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I could greyhound or like genie my way over, mm-hmm. I totally just would. Just Michael Phelps it all the way. Michael Phelps, just get a good swim one. 
I'm afraid of sharks. I'm not that great of a swimmer. So with that being said, I may not get there this year, but it will happen. And I'm y'all can come. I'll bring you to the vineyard. I just have to get a translator to come. I have my scrolls. I have actual scrolls. I love the sound effects, by the way. I'm very um, extra. So I have actual scrolls um, signed by the Catholic Church, the marriage license of the King of Tuscany, Marion, the Princess of Spain, and signed by the church and everything with the like seal of approval. And my great aunt, who was a genealogist for ancestry, and she did a bunch of stuff, you know, pulling families together. She actually gave me those this June will make two years ago that she gave them to me and then she passed away right after that. So Aunt T, love you, rest in peace. I know you're with my mom all burn in heaven. But she gave me that. She was like, I know you're the only one that's gonna use this here. And she gave it if all the family members that I have, she gave it to me because she knew that I was bold enough to like I tell my butt over <laughs> in that greyhound <laughs> no, or, greyhound. or plane to um, get those family rights and pick some grapes on that um, beautiful Tuscan vineyard. So I'm very excited to do that. Y'all should come Tuscan with me. Tuscan vineyard. We'll do it. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll check out our <laughs> the greyhound that we're gonna use. We'll do it. So I'm East Asian Native American. I didn't even know that East Asia had Native Americans. East Asian Native American. Have y'all done your 23? I have not. I just know I I'm have a very white. German and French mostly. You are quite white. I'm a little khaki slash gray. Look, I blended in color. with the background. I'm Mediterranean <laughs> French. Yeah, I'm German French. Okay, she's just white white. White white. And you're I'm Italian. Italian Irish. I'm 63% Italian. And I'm like 20 something percent. Um, you have that much percent? Irish. Yeah. The I'm, most that I have in me is um, Portuguese. I think it's like 40 something percent. But then it's like 26 percent of me is unknown but they were still me trying out. to figure it out they kicked me out of 23 me like i spit in that thing through a whole hour podcast and um at the end of it like i sent it in they shipped me back my results i read them on our podcast we even like came and you know talked about it on the show um and then i haven't been able to log in since even though my email address is attached. They stole your uh, DNA. That they my, stole your Greyhound. My DNA has been stolen. They, they stole your ID. They stole Call your DNA. Me. They stole, stole your WBRZ. They stole it's it all. Your ADHD. They st still your have AARP. the ADHD. Oh, they, you wish. Okay, yeah. I still have the ADHD. <laughs> but um, that's pretty exciting. So the restaurant of the week is Bistro Italiana. Authentic Italian. Oh. Authentic. Delicious. Delicious. Amazing. You 10 out of 10. In. Rubbed my belly good. So you can have the um, Lady in the Tramp. <laughs> this would be Spaghetti the place. and meatball moment. This, this is a very place. good Perfect first date, date place. It's not too fancy. It's it's on the more casual side. But it got... It's packing a punch with that flavor, we'll say. If you're uh, a wed, red... Oh, my goodness. Red wine drinker. Uh, say that 10 times fast. Go ahead and uh, Sorry, I get can't. you. All right, one of those girls were running at me. Hairdresser <laughs> over here. Um, go ahead and get yourself a glass of um, Chianti. Mm. Very good, very Chianti. good, very Sorry. good red wine. Yeah. yeah, they will. I would imagine that I personally didn't drink at this establishment, but I would imagine that they would have some very good drink pairings for all of their amazing dishes to Ooh. wet your whistle with. When you say the word Chianti, it reminds me of a job, a modeling job that I did when I was in my very early 20s. Probably not old enough to smoke a cigar, but I totally did. And my flavor, <laughs> I was a flavorette girl for CAO Cigar Cigarettes, um, or whatever it's called, but it's actually cigars. I was a flavorette, my, my flavor was Chianti. And I always was like, so extra with it. And they just brought me back, thanks for that. It was a blast from the past. So guys, when we return from our little break, we have the best part of the show. This is my part. It's a glam session. What? What? Coming at you. So beware. We're about to come in on some glam.
You can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get-together or a game day feast, having Manda in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats, the flavor says it all. a 90% chance of rain, I don't know about you, but I grab my umbrella. If there's a 9 in 10 chance that I could win a car, I'd take a shot at that. Good odds like that, you just can't ignore them. So don't ignore this. 93% of accident victims who used a lawyer said they'd do it again. If you've been injured, call us at Dudley DeBosier and find out what we can do for you. There's a good chance you're going to like what you hear. Demand Dudley DeBosier. Call 444-4444. Hi gang, Clarence Bugs here, inviting you to come by Old School Barbecue, 10655 Corsi Boulevard, where we tape the show live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 11 o'clock. Come by and feast on news, sports, current events, love of God and country, and lots of common sense, along with some of the best barbecue anywhere on the planet. 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Old School Barbecue, home of the Clarence Bugs Show. So welcome back to The Drip. We are highlighting the glam session today. Let's roll that intro. Ooh, taking it back to the Gigi days. Just because I'm a bitch there we go. Trying to be no life for fiance. I'm a pretty bitch feeling like Beyonce. I with me. Possibilities. I look like all you need. Wrong Just showing off. I can't believe How'd y'all like that little mashup? Somebody's getting pretty good at editing. That would be me, <laughs> Kelly Hutchinson, the host of the drip and most important segment, excuse me, super clueless vibes, most important segment of the show in my, you know, eyes is definitely the glam session. So the glam sesh is gonna be about TikTok. Let's show some of those analytics. Let's see it. There she is. What? Your girl's killing it. Look at all those lights, guys. They're not all bangers, but you know, we're gonna go ahead. Yep, hit those buttons, hit those buttons. Exactly. Every day, all day, making people look fabulous. There's that my girl. Looks that looks like a such familiar face. <laughs> pretty cute. Pretty cute. 
Check out this guy. I'm gonna tell you what. This guy slayed, and I'm slaying with a glass of champagne. What's next? A haircut? This is an easy way to do a man malay. <laughs> malay. That's a 2023 way to say mullet. It's mullet amazing. It's very French. Malay is French for mullet. <laughs> and it looks hella good, especially with those pink combs. It really just gives it something extra. But this video has now reached maximum views. I was hoping that it would break the bank and hit a million, but it has not hit a million quite yet. But he came from a jacked up haircut and I brought him right back with a little texture powder from Blow Pro, some textile. And look how cute. This guy got the most love. And this is just some of my clientele. You know, they're all slayers. All of them. Look at them, look at them. Would you look at it? So if you want to see more and more and more beautiful men, beautiful women in Baton Rouge, check out those analytics. Because those analytics are dope. It is basically showing you that I have reached damn near one million views in the past few days. How is that possible? I have no idea. I have no clue. Working hard, staying on the grind. I'm gonna to talk to you today about a little bit of social media and a little bit of work on that network of TikTok. So TikTok is a network made for people that are actually on it. How do you get on TikTok? Well, you download the app, but <laughs> there's another way. If you can simply take your tablet or iPhone, whatever, computer at home, and just run that thing out. Take the screensaver off, guys. Just run that TikTok out. What it'll do is jump you right to the top of where you need to be so the analytics are on point and you'll be on the top of TikTok. So I have been grinding on this. I remember the day. Me, Kelly M, sitting right here, head to head about Queen of Fades versus She Fades 225. Fortunately, I kicked her butt. Sorry, Kelly M, you didn't win. Still winning. I won the social media battle for Glitter and Gossip, and I'm still winning today. That has gone and moved on over now to the TikTok network, where I have reached almost 800,000 views in less than three days. And it hasn't really gone up. It's hit pretty much 720, 30,000 and it hasn't really gone up or I'm kind of stuck. So I've shared it on my Facebook platform. Please guys, watch it, share it, and let your girl locally, right here in BR, right here in Louisiana, Miss Louisiana, help me hit that one million. I haven't hit a million yet on anything. Let's do it on TikTok. And some of the comments are incredible. People are so funny. So I have Patsy Thank and Tommy. Really. We're all on this TikTok platform. And I have this like entire feminist like breakthrough happening on my TikTok platform. People are like, oh my God, I would not let her cut my husband's hair. Um, if I dress like that, blah, blah, blah. People give a lot of hate. And that's where like the female movement is kind of coming from. Like everybody's about body positivity, loving yourself, self-worth, like glorifying your body, whatever. But when an actual person like myself, you know, pushes the envelope, wears something where I feel confident, I feel beautiful in, people are always going to find a way to hate. But the comments have gotten more and more interesting over the past two years since yes. I've had this page. And I have 579 comments about things. And a lot of them are all getting a lot of likes. Like this one, if my barber looked like her, I'd get my hair touched up twice a week. It had 713 likes. Thank you, guys. Thank y'all so much. I need him. Tell him I said hey. Tell him I said hey had nine comments. A lot of these are like, Same. he's so beautiful. He's so stunning. What's he his at? Stunning. He's gorgeous. So I threw him up there. If you want to get a lot of attention from a lot of women all over the nation, my chair, sit down. You'll 
get a full fill of yourself. But he's so beautiful. Oh my God. Let's go find him in BR. <laughs> like, they're so cute. Oh, man. I like this one. It says, can never style it exactly like the barber does. But the thing yeah. is, the way that you cut it, 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 it basically styles itself. Not only the way that you Thank cut you. it, but it's also like giving your clients the tools and the products and actually teaching them how to style it like that. I know a lot of guys, especially with curly hair, like I had a guy in my chair the other day that has never styled his hair properly and he has curly hair. And I gave him the tools, I gave him the products, I showed him exactly how to do it, and he was like, wow, this is going to up my game even more. But even with women, I, I heard that. you talking to uh, that, that one girl you had in your, your chair the other day and, and you were like, she she didn't, she didn't just lets it air dry, that's what she said to you. And um, uh, you were like, well, we're gonna get you a couple of different ways to style this. You were like, Hey, we we can we can put it up in some rollers. We can do this, and you can fall asleep in it, and all that stuff. I really love helping people achieve their natural curl patterns. My goodness, people with curls don't know what the heck to do. I know, I'll help you. Um, but yeah, I like to help people achieve their natural look, and we're just gonna jazz it up a little bit, put a little blow pro on it and make it a thing, maybe a little B3, if you got some burnt ends, we're gonna snip those off and get them in action. My favorite comment on this TikTok post right here, and it's a super Louisiana you know, comment, it says, Theo Vaughn effect. It's got 4,478 <laughs> likes. Theo Vaughn. One of my clients said that he was in L at LSU with him, and he said one day he was there, and the next day he just wasn't. He was on like the real world. So I guess that's where his star was. I was supposed to see him backstage tickets and everything with a super nice man, um, and I did not go on that date. Sorry, probably Look should have, now. but mm. it happens. Can't go we on all every make day. Mistakes. But um, I love that they said something about Theo Vaughn because. I love him. He had me from hello. He had me from all of his silliness. He says the most ridiculous things, and I genuinely love it. Theo Vaughn, shout out. But yeah, this guy had so many comments about how handsome he was. And it's like, you know you're getting old when you just don't see it. Like, I'm just like, oh, what a sweet little boy. He's so kind. And I'm like, oh, what a little heartthrob when I'm like reading all these comments. I'm like, he looks familiar. I'm addicted to this haircut. Um, do you do designs? <laughs> all of this. Send me that boy. See? What's his at? I want to work at your salon. God, God damn. damn. <laughs> God damn. Hey, here's one by... Oh, uh, my lord, lord. Here's one by T. Croft. This lady looks like she knows what she's doing. She <laughs> does know what she's doing. She's a master boss. At this point in life, if I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> then go, go ahead and dig a hole and throw me in it. I've been doing hair for way too long. Get on that Greyhound bus and go to the Get damn Get on the Greyhound. Oh, uh, here's one from M. Straight to Lafayette. She's she's upset. She's upset that uh, she can't get in contact with this fella. She's like, maybe we can start putting phone numbers. <gasps> you can do whatever you want. What's her name? Uh, M. M. Do you, boo. Do you. If you need to put your digits down there to get Mr. Connor's attention, go ahead and get it. Because Connor's a cutie. Such a sweet pea. I thought, you know, uh, he looks like Erkin from uh, Love Island. Erkin? <laughs> E-O-O. E-K-I-N. Eakin from Love Island. Sorry, I thought there was an R. Maybe I can start putting my phone numbers down. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh. So yeah, people are really getting a lot of love and a lot of funnies. And then every comment's getting like hundreds of comments and hundreds of likes and thousands even. And it's incredible if you're consistent with your platform. <laughs> Wait, I just read that. Uh-oh, let's see it. My standards just keep getting more and more unrealistic. It's okay. That's Absolutely. Nice. If you keep on the grind, you keep putting stuff out there, eventually something is going to hit. I've been working this page for two years now, and I have not hit a million on one. I've hit like 809.999, almost a million, but I have not hit that 1M button. 
Please help me in my million, y'all. Just go like it, heart it, comment on this sweet, sweet Baton Rouge boy named Connor with the dopest haircut in, in, in town. I mean, obviously. It's gotten mm -hmm. almost a million views. Let's mm -hmm. bring her up. So, um, analytics are really awesome. I have a guy that's working on some of my social media platforms um, has started this week. Y'all hit me up at the hair show. I can get someone on your side that'll help you get past that harsh, harsh barrier, that wall of do not enter. You can enter. I've been entering like sideways like, entering for quite some time. You know, just kind of like edge in or like, oh, these are my friends. Buttering like yourself back. up. Yeah. Slipping through. Slipping on through. But you can do it too. All you have to do is be consistent. Make sure that your hashtags, you want something that's global, something that is local. You want something that is just a saying. You want to like kind of do like a remix of hashtags. You want to tag everybody. If you're wearing Nike, tag Nike. If you're using an iPhone, tag Apple. You want to tag everything. I wear a lot of cheap Fashion Nova clothes. I wear a lot of chic me. I wear a lot of sheen, you know, like things that are Shein. Things that aren't very important that I can get hair color on. That's what I wear. So I go ahead and I put on those clothes. I do a photo shoot daily and I hashtag what's Kelly wearing. And with what's Kelly wearing, I go ahead and I tag the company that I'm wearing. And before you know it, people start sending you clothes. If you always are capitalizing on your, you know, tools, the next thing you know, Babyliss is going to send you a big old chunk of combs and fade brushes. That's what they did for me. So whenever you stay on that grind and on that hustle, eventually those things will pay off. And that is what happened with Sheep Aids 225. Lord knows I was hustling with Kelly Hutchinson for at least 21 years before I started that page. And it took only two years on Instagram and on TikTok to make it a little tread. And actually it hadn't even been two years. It's been about a year, 19 months <sighs> or so, <laughs> who knows. But it's been awesome. It's been a journey. I've enjoyed it. And it's been a whole movement and a female movement. You have got to go on TikTok. She fades, S-H-E-F-A-D-E-S, two, 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 five, like two, the area two, code. <laughs> and read those comments. You can basically put yourself to sleep on comments and then do it again the next night and the next night because it is crazy how much people have to say and how much shade women want to throw on another women when we're supposed to be bringing each other up not putting each other down just saying but it's been it's been pretty cray cray but i love tiktok i love instagram i love this whole social media platform i love where the world is kind of turning to it doesn't matter about how much money you have in your pocket it matters about the hard work and grind and finding creative content and making something trend, and you can do it. And everybody has the power to. Grandpas have millions of followers, you know? There's 12 year olds who are making six figures, seven figures, eight figures, and they're like 12, because it is all about how much time you're investing in your platform. So TikTok, I like about that. What I don't like is they take 50% of your income. So. Wow. Wow. Highway robbery. Yeah, it hurts. If you're mad so. about that, you just see what the government's doing. But guess what, guys? I got my blue check today. <laughs> <laughs> check it verified. out. She pays 225. I am verified. She pays 225. You have got to follow me. Let's bring BR. Let's bring LA up. I am your Miss Louisiana. Follow me on TikTok at She pays 225. 225. And if you're feeling a little down, you're feeling a little out, you know. Tommy's going to bring you right back after this break because he's got something called black and white coming at you. And I cannot wait to hear what he has to say about this next segment, Tommy's black and white. Here we go. So, again, I want to thank all my sponsors, Dudley Nebosier, Jerry Lane. You know who you are. Send us a car. Thank you. I'm going to wreck a car bed.
Visit Treads and Care Tire Company's new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for over 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair and top-notch customer service. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. Hey everybody, I'm Kevin Gallagher. This is Roy Fletcher. We hope you'll join us for Fletch Nation, especially if you like talking politics. Hey, come and join us. We'll give you the information and then we'll give you the context. We and by the way, We'll give you fun, too. Right, lots of fun. We hit the local races, the state. We even look at what's going on all across America. And by the way, this space is available. If you'd like to talk about advertising, send your emails to Roy Fletcher at RoyFletcher.com and join us every week here on the Pelican for Fletch Nation. Thank you for making us Louisiana's number one Chevy dealer. You can count on Jerry Lynn. Welcome back to the drip where Tommy, he means business. Mm. He mean mm. business seventh mm. grade math project. Yeah, I mean business. All, I like to talk about grade. business. I like to talk about, um, you know, things that will help you in your business, you know. Um, and so, so what I have for you today is um, basically a couple of things that can just help you take out the mental trash, that help you take out the mental garbage. Um, and the, the first part of this is um, basically, and this is outside of work, you just have an active lifestyle. Whenever you're, you're working out and you're, you're doing things, and even if it's just a little bit, your, your muscles send responders to your brain that says, hey, be happy. So when you actually are physically active, you, um, it, it, will, it will make you happier, which, you know, that, that just overflows into everything. I mean, do y'all have stories about like when you were, you know, physically I've never been active? physically or emotionally un or active. I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no. Wow. <laughs> I'm not a loser. Yeah, I was about to say, you invited me to the gym the other day. I know, I do, you know, work out. <laughs> but yeah, being I, did, I used to also work twice. out. I used to do body sculpt bar. Like, oh, I'm, fun. I'm more of like the. I have to have a class, but at the I same time, I'm, I'm very social, picky about the class. Well, you know, that I'm I go a social to. worker. However outward. you do it, you know, however you do it, but just being active will help your mind state. It'll help you um, just feel better about yourself. You know, you just sweat out all that bad energy. I like to work out in the mornings, and yes. I'm not a morning person. I've never been a morning person, but I'll wake up, get the kids off, ready to go to school, get them on the little school bus, say bye, baby, mommy loves you, and high tail to the gym and do about 45 minutes of you know 
my setup for the day and I feel like I can work for like 18 hours. It's true. Yeah. You I do mean, work you for get, 18 you, hours. I know. <laughs> I, you, it's you not, get those there's no light. going, you know. But then, you know, you, you also have to find ways to stay motivated. You mm-hmm. have to find ways to, you know, it's probably the keep yourself part. going. Yeah. I mean, the motivation is, is, is really a, a very difficult thing, especially in school. I mean, you're doing monotonous stuff, working on a doll every single day. And, and so, I mean, we're, we're tying it all into hair, but this goes with anything. Um, just keep yourself motivated by, you know, um, surround yourself with, with people who are doing the things you want to do. So, you know, I, I, what, a, a thing that I do a lot is I'll message, you know, celebrity hairstylists. I'll message, you know, uh, big salons around and I'll just talk to them. And That's I'll just, how we met. Yeah, celebrity that's exactly how I met Kelly. I just came and hung out with her one day, and, and now look at look at me. I'm. You brought she, a friend. She, yeah, she she's got me in her salon. But so you never know where it can lead you. You, you know, you just you just talk to people, and um, those people will guide you. You let them be your mentors, and and you surround yourself by the people exactly. that you want to be like. And exactly. you surround. I like to surround myself with people that make a lot more money than I do. Whenever I do, I feel like it motivates me to bring home the bacon. And it's true, like people, you, you are who you surround yourself with. You become your environment. So I totally agree with that, yeah. Tommy. Yeah, for sure. And doing things that motivate me, make me who I am. And I'm doing ridiculous things, like the Miss Louisiana pageant, which we'll hit on after our break. Um, but I'm trying, I need y'all to get me in the dang gym before all this extra <laughs> butt flab, you know, scares the judges away and I don't get my opportunity that took me hey, look, I'm totally at least down. 29 years to get to go to Miss America. Yeah. But yeah, like, and and back to staying active, like, and, um, you know, staying motivated. I mean, motivation is really hard. I, I got down to the point at one, one time where I was just buying myself different tools and different things to work with just so like I wanted to use them you know a new toy a new um, a, like you get a kid a toy they want to play with it all the time so I was just constantly like getting myself you know new toys or finding myself another challenge like and workout challenges and workout tools no well, like well, no, like mean, building just, a floating just, spigot I mean like in okay a, I was just making sure <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. just just I mean like in workplace in general so when I say <laughs> <laughs> so many projects, so many uh, yeah, trips. Yeah, I had too many to at Home one Depot. Point. So many yeah, don't trips. Overdo to Hobby it. Lobby. Don't overdo it. I overdid it for. A point, I was his ride during this. Amazon package is coming in like every five minutes. I bought a sander I've never used. But a sander. I love a good sander. But yeah, you know, so I meant like uh, hair tools. <laughs> right. So I would buy myself new clippers. I'd buy myself new scissors. I I would um, get new dolls. I would I would. And I would practice all the time. I would watch videos uh, on YouTube, and I would practice that style. And and um, I'm really good at curly cuts now. You know, I I can, I can cut curly hair like like nobody's business. And um, business. Tommy means business. Tommy means business. You're just setting it up. <laughs> Tommy means business, and especially curly hair business at the yeah. hair show. Three six one seven Perkins Road. Three one eight. <laughs> She fade two to five. But yeah, and then and then also another tip that I would give would be um, find different ways to challenge yourself. You know that 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 um, colloquialism, that um, idiom that's like uh, there's mo- a million ways to skin a cat. You know. Yeah. Find find if you're doing a haircut the same way, you start getting bored. You keep doing it the same way over and over again. You you get you get bored. So it is boring mm-hmm. sometimes. You're doing the same haircut so like, over and over again. So like try and find like Mid-fades. be experimental. You know, like um, for all the hairdressers out there, whenever you're you're you don't have any clients, go in the break room, but don't don't take a break. Go find yourself a mannequin. Jo- go try and mm-hmm. do some weird stuff on uh, a mannequin and keep practicing that and then you'll start discovering things and that's what keeps people interested in their industry yeah. you know not not just mannequin heads but any heads that you're dealing with you know yeah. like children if you're an educator finding different ways to teach kids finding different ways to learn right. things i mean i'm i can agree with that 
Yeah, I mean, it's interesting that you, you say, like, find different ways to, you know, teach kids and stuff, because if you think back to school, like middle school and stuff, I don't remember what was exactly taught to me. I mean, I remember the information. It's in my brain. But what you need to know. I don't, I don't remember that as an experience. I remember how I was treated. I remember how, um, you know, my friends and my teachers talk to me and and encourage me so i mean that's another way like teach people that's that's the number one form of learning but um yeah, yeah. i personally with that like motivation knowledge i'm gonna cut an accidental knot into one of my clients heads and then fade it out well, i love that <laughs> but yeah mental health is very important in the workplace it's very important with friends it's very important to talk about things if you're feeling low or down it's very, very, very important to say it. Hey, I don't have it. And finding ways to occupy your brain. Yeah, and challenging yourself over and over and over again. And, and you will say, because if you're not growing, you're dying, you know? Stop dying. Yeah, so if you're, if, yeah, exactly, stop dying. Yeah, put some water on it. Like, you know, just keep, keep learning, keep going. Keep you got going. this. So get your head in the game, guys. We'll be right back after this break, but Tommy's on to something. Everybody has got to keep your head in the game, keep your heart in the game. You know, prevent yourself from being, you know, over the top emotional. We got this. Be strong, be hard. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. Ever heard the saying, less is more? Yeah, well, whoever said that wasn't talking about your money. And he sure as heck wasn't facing a lowball settlement from the insurance company. That's something you'll never hear us say at Dudley DeBosier. Because the fact is, on average, car crash victims with a lawyer get over three times more money. So if you've been injured and you want the money you deserve, more is more. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Demand Dudley DeBosier. Call 444-4444. Hi, I'm Katie, Operation Manager here at Old School Barbecue. We're excited about all of the changes here at Old School, and we'd like to invite everyone to come out and enjoy some delicious barbecue at Old School prices. We feature brisket, chicken, ribs, sausage, and the Boss Hog Pulled Pork Sandwich voted best deal in town. We also have live music Friday and Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. 10655 Corsi Boulevard. We can't wait to see you. Next up, we have an advocate, a new story about me. Tommy's going to read it. All right, here we go. Kelly Hutchinson. Ready? Yes. Kelly Hutchinson is more than just a pretty face. 
Sure, she holds a pageant title. Hutchinson is Miss Louisiana World America for 2023. But it's what she's doing with this title that's making a difference. She's um, teaching and motivating people is my passion. That's that's your quote, said Hutchinson. Thank you. Who juggles owning the hair, the hair show hair salon and hosting a podcast, maintaining a social media presence, and most importantly, being a mom. Absolutely. Mom's yeah. most important. She's a Denim Springs native, living in Baton Rouge. All right. And after being crowned Miss Louisiana State in 2017, Hutchinson, realizing her title brought with it public influence, zeroed in on motivational speaking as her platform during her reign. I had some of the best experiences ever working with the Salvation Army, she recalled. One particular talk to a girls' youth group in 2018 resulted in a personal breakthrough with, for the 30-something Hutchinson as well. I was going to talk about body image and self-esteem. I ended up talking about rape, and so many little girls were touched by the fact that I was so honest. That really helped a lot of people. Molested by a family member at age six, the victim of date rape at 16, Hutchinson had kept those traumas hidden for years behind her dimpled cheeks, classic beauty queen smile, and bubbly personality. Aw. Yeah. Actually, I haven't read this. Oh, really? No. <laughs> it was something that was so private to me that I felt compelled for some reason to talk about it. And when I did, I think that was the moment where I was healed, she said. Yeah, it was a healing moment, and I helped little girls get closure and powered, empowered by things that happened to them. And you can too if you speak out and help others. And you'll find your home and cope with trauma. And don't be a victim; be a leader. Yeah. And that is my message to you. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching the drip tonight. And we'll be back next week with a brand new show. So stay with us, guys. Love you. Love. She fades 225. Follow. She fade 225. Tommy means At business. At Watch Tommy Go. Watch. <laughs> Not Hit Tommy means business. He means business. <laughs> I do mean business. But, he does. But. It is business. Watch me go, dude. Watch me Thank go. you all so much. Thank you to Salvation Army for giving me that closure that I've searched for since yeah. I was a little girl. And I'm so glad, glad that I got to help others. Yeah. It was an amazing it is, experience. It is very empowering whenever you... It, that kind of stuff affects more people than you think. It affects and me every day. whenever you see somebody like you... Thank y'all so much. Good night, everybody. Good night. We love y'all.